Now we want to shift gears, head to the forecast. We could see some wet roads in the morning. And when folks are heading to school and work, let's find out more from Paul. We're going to see some rain overnight, perhaps. As showers already starting to develop uh, just to the uh, west of Chattanooga right now, but they're very, very light and they're really spread out too. Uh, just isolated showers and mainly nothing more than isolated sprinkles at the present time. Uh, the heaviest rain is going to be along the Gulf Coast coming up through tomorrow. Very, very wet day. We're just going to be on the edge of it. Uh, south of Rome, Georgia, south of Dalton, south of Calhoun. That's probably the best chance to get some decent rain out of this. And we're looking at some cool temperatures again coming up for tomorrow also. Uh, what we're looking at right now, again, from uh, just north of Mon Eagle through Grundy County, a little bit of light rain. I just moved north of Dunlap, and these are very, very light sprinkles. And you can see they continue all the way out to the west. But you go uh, further out to the west, you can see where the heavy duty rain is. On the other side of the Mississippi, just to the west of Memphis, lots of lightning with this. Severe thunderstorm watches through Texas, uh, numerous lightning strokes. Uh, they're finally, uh, they've gone down a little bit. There's still 900, over 900 lightning strokes have hit the ground in just the past 10 minutes or so. And a big cluster of thunderstorms, too, moving through northwestern Florida, southeastern part of Alabama. And that's all pushing off towards the east, so it's not a good day on the beach out there. Uh, looking at the clouds, we still have lots of clouds around here. The thicker clouds, again, are out to the west. And uh, 69 currently in the city, 68 Dalton, 68 Cleveland, 69 in Murphy, with 70 in Dayton. Winds out of the north-northwest at about 6, and the pollen count was uh, close to 400, not quite. 71.54 for the high and the low, and uh, a little bit cooler than I expected, but still it worked out pretty well. And 72 was the high in Lafayette and Dalton, also into Calhoun with 73 in Somerville and in Spring City, while it was 76 uh, from Saudi Daisy and into Chatsworth, too. 69 in Cleveland with 68 in Ringgold. Right here at Channel 3, we got up to 69. Signal Mountain was 65. Lookout was only 63, but Gwen Tugman says, I'm not complaining about it. And Dayton at 60, Spring City 69, and 10 Mile hit 73, while Delano got up to 74. And Murphy got up to 73, too, in the 60s over the Cumberland Plateau. So overnight, we'll see some of those rain showers move in, mainly late, late tonight. And then, again, the rain should be out of here probably by about noon at the very latest. And then looking at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, just a northeasterly wind with some clouds left over. Uh, Thursday morning, partly cloudy skies. Friday afternoon, partly to mostly cloudy skies. And coming up into Friday, it looks like very nice day. And uh, chance Saturday is going to be very good, too. So we're thinking maybe about a tenth to uh, two tenths of an inch of rain from Chattanooga on northward, and more than that into this area in green, maybe about three quarters of an inch of rain out to the east of Chattanooga into the Blue Ridge. So tonight, 54. Most of the showers are moving late, although you could have a sprinkle this evening with northerly winds at 10 to 15. Tomorrow, 62. Showers should be ending by noon with northeasterly winds tomorrow night, 48. Mostly cloudy, light winds again, and the seven day forecast. Uh, coming up on Thursday, 67. And uh, 48 for the overnight low. Friday, 71 and 50, 76 and 51 uh, Saturday, and then near 80 Sunday. Uh, Monday looks good, 83, and then some more rain possible uh, for next Tuesday. Cindy?